Hi, I'm Mark Berman. Is it supposed to? It's not like this. Okay, uh, thanks for uh, letting me come back and audition to be in TED again. It was so fun last time, and one of the th things that I talked about last time, because the subject was uh, look again, or I mean, uh, a moment in time. My moment was to look again at the natural world around you through bugs and the interesting lessons you can learn from them. Now, with the topic being the future revealed, one of the lessons that you learn from the natural world is that you really can't reveal the future, and it's kind of audacious for Ted to assume that that's what we're going to do during this conference. The future is a mystery, and the things that you can learn from nature are that you prepare for it. You can't reveal it. You can only prepare for it and be there ready when it comes. And I'm going to show you that. I'm used to props, and so this isn't my best prop, but usually there's going to be beautiful video going on up there. And part of it is going to be about the metamorphosis of a butterfly, which everybody kind of knows that story. But what most people probably don't appreciate is that that butterfly has been living its whole life inside the caterpillar as a little cluster of cells that hasn't differentiated. So the caterpillar goes through its whole life, and all of its cells develop in the embryo, and it hatches and grows and sheds its skin. And then there's this cluster of cells that doesn't develop the whole time until hormones reach certain levels. And then all of a sudden, these cells start to develop and absorb all of the caterpillar sh uh, cells. And essentially, a butterfly is a completely different organism than a caterpillar was. How can it predict its future? It doesn't even have any awareness, presumably, of its present. And so the way that a caterpillar and a butterfly discriminate their environmental resources is a very interesting lesson in how to prepare for the future. Caterpillars eat and eat and eat and poop and eat and eat and eat and poop. And then the butterfly, if it had to rely on the same food source, probably wouldn't have enough, so it grows up to have a whole different food source. And that's one level of strategy that nature uses to accommodate for the future, not predict it or reveal it. Another level is that of natural selection, more at the population level. And different species of organisms take different strategies. You can have a whole bunch of babies and just let them go fend for themselves. Or you can just have a few babies and take a lot of care of them, like we do. And through both of those things, you hedge your bets against an unrevealable and an unpredictable future. And there's probably something in that for us to learn. Now, since this is the audition and I have three minutes, I haven't quite learned all of that yet. But I'll reveal that in the future during my TED Talk uh, on October 5th, if I get selected. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs>